and today we will be discussing about what uh, what are the what is a crisis quotient we have undergone the period of covid right and uh, almost two years for two years we are there um, we remotely got connected to each other at the best and um, so there was a disconnect between employees the management system the decision making system and everything what do you say so it was a crisis crisis of uh, a sort like uh, each of us were was shocked uh, in our own manner and <laughs> we tried to deal it mostly everybody thought like they are uh, excluded from the system right um when your system is like say very 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 personal and it is the culture is not like say getting connected to another person uh, automatically like indian system is it was a system of uh, exclusion so that is when the crisis uh, quotient came it is about dealing with whatever is uh, whatever matters the most so uh, each of us has been trained to do a lot according to the rule and what has been laid out previously and uh, we pay little attention to things which are unusual and uh, there is a risk factor as well because if it is you uh, you are the only one at you are coming from say um, somewhere where you are, your opinion is not likely to be taken into account then it is kind of risky because you are raising your voice uh, uh, supporting an unusual thing which might be causing some instability in the system so that is what the leadership usually first is concerned of when there is so much of uncertainty if somebody somebody is saying something differently then even though it will have uh, a lot of good uh, repercussion afterwards but since it is a new thing people will be worry about uh, adopting or encouraging such voices so it is this time when such voices are uh, counted and that is what crisis quotient is what all about uh, when you hear something when you voice something which is bothering another person yourself as well but another person also so when you voice whether you are raising it in a platform for everybody to hear it out or not if you have extended some sympathy to the person who is also facing some kind of problem or uh, uneasiness or uh, concern then the person becomes a good friend and that is how the leverage thing is done suppose the leader himself or herself is a person who is taking advantage of this new angle of thought process then it helps a lot of employees and suddenly so people with crisis quotient who think the other side of unhappiness whatever is usual that is not happening so it is only the people with crisis quotient will try to see the other side of the story how it is impacting people who have been affected health wise or uh, emotion wise even uh, learning wise upskilling career 
growth and mobility all these things will affect people people who have there are people who could never commute between countries and that is a far fetched thing when people are not able to get outside their homes you know so for people who are uh, intellectuals they were earning from home but people who depended on um, their daily bread and they have to go out to earn their daily bread those people got affected and it is usually the blue collar people who actually um, became affected both in india and outside india outside the country so there was there was this need of deeper connection you know how does it feel when there is a there is an air of distrust when you are not able to trust the another person because of certain things right are you getting uh, this thing because people all the people are affected and uh, some of them because of some reason because they are not favorably placed their their skill level is not such which will be retained by the company in a crisis and those people are the more insecure insecure lot and um, when there is a new idea coming up which uh, is likely to say corner these people again then uh, there is an air of distrust and naturally nobody is going to contribute to the to the common goal and obi there is such a situation and any crisis for that matter is such a situation when it requires fellow feeling and uh, the workforce needs to be together trust each other and be together in a crisis but you know things things like that also happen right people were fired and people who were fired were of different levels it is not only the uh, lower most people who got fired it is the top high people also who got fired or didn't get any job they were not hired any for two years despite being highly professional and qualified those people didn't get job what what do you do inside the company if you belong to the hr or if you are a leader what do you do in a crisis situation you have to do some honest conversation if you are a very conservative person uh, if you are a person who uh, clings to certain ideas established processes then this is the this is the time to recognize that some things some things are not working anymore and reach more transformative level of uh, problem solving so suddenly the leaders the responsible people have to play a different uh, role than whatever has been laid out there in their system nobody knew nobody could foresee such urgency such situation from before and on force force in circumstances were written down there everywhere but on force on force in situations are also those situations where which uh, put you into uncertainty 
so the solutions might be different from another company to another if you are afraid of taking a new decision because you didn't see the precedents anywhere even your your friends company doesn't take the same solution as uh, you are taking so you are afraid this is where the crisis question comes in. it is a crisis you can see honestly as to what is happening in your company you can take a decision but you are not taking a decision because it is unprecedented then you you are lacking crisis concept right and um, um, the obvious things that you need to learn of course each of us uh, feels certain kind of uncertainty when uh, we are doing something new because it it is it affects so many people suddenly we cannot take some decision without uh, kind of measuring what kind of repercussion is it, it is going to be so at, a, at at those moments of confusion what is uh, required is whether you are able to the, the most important indicator will be if as a result of your decision if you are able to create confidence in your colleagues what is more important than creating confidence confidence is such a factor which will actually imbibe those skills in people to survive crisis so you are not the only person who is in charge of taking care of so many people but people are also now empowered enough to take decisions on their own so if that is what is uh, happening as a result of your decision then you should take that decision no? whether there is precedence or not right and you need to have that courage to take this new decision because it is new and it requires somebody to implement it right and uh, the great resignation we that we have heard about and uh, if people, if people like us who are away and uh, listening to those kind of things why great resignation did anybody know as to why they feel uh, fail on hard of they feel they felt that they were on hard of but the other way round question is did they try to speak or it was a blind decision to resign and mass so make sure that you have expressed what your opinion before you leave so that the other person gets an opportunity or company gets an opportunity to resolve if it is possible so it is so very unfair to leave without telling anybody what is the reason right and for that matter you have to be very sure about your why why you are doing whatever you are doing and uh, ask better questions as a leader i have seen some um leaders usually take decision thinking that it will do good for their employees before that they don't take any opinion of their employees so whatever is good for you may not be good for the other person if it is not then you need to take opinion of that person right 
you need to take, take the opinion of many other persons as well before you do something. So, instead of being very reactive, one needs to be responding to the situation. And it is not always what thing is the right thing. It doesn't take much to approach somebody and ask if they, this will be the right solution for him or her. Right? So this is all about crisis quotient. When we need to become a better human being. Before we extend any good service to another person. And a leader, by, by virtue of being a leader, needs to understand this. Needs to understand that there will be times when he needs to take a decision with courage. And he needs to um, reach out to people to know that whatever decision he is taking, it is not taken in silence. Hope this episode uh, has given you some clarity and uh, hope now that the COVID situation is almost over, uh, you have created good, situ good systems at your place and you are taking good uh, responsibility and good care of your employees and you are also doing good and i request everybody to comment below this video if they uh, resonate with whatever i am saying this is from uh, an interview by adam grant and uh, he is a world renowned um, psychologist who does this and he has done extensive research about uh, COVID handling and uh, these, these were his views. For us, it looks like the qualities of a good leader, a leader who is not uh, dependent on the usual situation but is thinking something new and uh, out of the box. Thank you for watching.